Echter Esther 9. Now, in the twelfth month, that is the month Adar, on the thirteenth day of the same, when the king's commandment and his decree drew near to be put in execution, in the day that the enemies of the Yahudim hoped to have power over them, though it was turned to the contrary, that the Yahudim had rule over them that hated them, the Yahudim gathered themselves together in their cities throughout all the provinces of the king Achash Varosh to lay hand on such as sought their hurt. And no man could withstand them, for the fear of them fell upon all people. And all the rulers of the provinces, and the lieutenants, and the deputies, and officers of the king, helped at the Yahudim, because the fear of Mordechai fell upon them, for Mordechai was great in the king's house, and his fame went out throughout all the provinces. For this man Mordechai waxed greater and greater. Thus the Yahudim smote all their enemies with the stroke of the sword, and slaughter, and destruction, and did what they would unto those that hated them. And in Shushan, the palace, the Yahudim slew and destroyed five hundred men. And Eth Parshandatha, and Eth Dalphan, and Eth Achpatha, and Eth Poratha, and Eth Aldala, and Eth Aridatha, and Eth Parmashta, and Eth Arikai, and Eth Aridai, and Eth Vaizatha. The ten sons of Haman, the son of Hamadatha, the enemy of the Yahudim, slew they. But on the spoil laid they not at their hand. On that day the number of those that were slain in Shushan, the palace, was brought before the king. And the king said unto Echter, the queen, The Yahudim have slain and destroyed five hundred men in Shushan, the palace. And at the ten sons of Haman, what have they done in the rest of the king's provinces? Now, what is your petition? And it shall be granted you. Or what is your request further? And it shall be done. Then said Echter, if it please the king, let it be granted to the Yahudim, which are in Shushan, to do tomorrow also, according unto this day's decree. And eth let Haman's ten sons, rather ten sons, be hanged upon the gallows. And the king commanded it so to be done. And the decree was given at Shushan, and they hanged eth Haman's ten sons. For the Yahudim that were in Shushan gathered themselves together on the fourteenth day also of the month Adar and slew three hundred men at Shushan. But on the prey they laid not at their hand. But the other Yahudim that were in the king's provinces gathered themselves together, and stood for their lives, and had rest from their enemies, and slew of their foes seventy and five thousand, but they laid not at their hands on the prey. On the thirteenth day of the month Adar, and on the fourteenth day of the month, rather, day of the same, rested they, and made it a day of feasting and gladness. But the Yahudim that were at Shushan assembled together on the thirteenth day thereof, and on the fourteenth thereof, and on the fifteenth day of the same they rested, and made it a day of feasting and gladness. Therefore the Yahudim of the villages that dwelt in the unwalled towns made at the fourteenth day of the month Adar a day of gladness and feasting, and a good day, and of sending portions one to another. And Mordechai wrote at these things, and sent Seraphim unto all the Yahudim that were in all the provinces of the king Echash Varosh, both nigh and far, 
to establish this among them, that they should keep at the fourteenth day of the month Adar, and at the fifteenth day of the same, yearly, as the days wherein the Yahudim rested from their enemies, and the month which was turned unto them from sorrow to joy, and from mourning into a good day, that they should make them days of feasting and joy, and of sending portions one to another, and gifts to the poor. And the Yahudim hath undertook today as they had begun, and eth rather to do as they had begun, and eth as Mordechai had written unto them, because Haman the son of Hamadatha, the Agagi, the enemy of all the Yahudim, had devised against the Yahudim to destroy them, and had cast pur, that is, the lot, to consume them, and to destroy them. But when Echter came before the king, he commanded by Sepharim that his wicked device, which he devised against the Yahudim, should return upon his own head, and that he and Eth his sons should be hanged on the gallows. Wherefore they called these days Purim, after the name of Pur. Therefore, for all the words of this letter, and of that which they had seen concerning this matter, and which had come unto them, the Yahudim ordained and took upon them and upon their seed, and upon all such as joined themselves unto them, so as it should not fail, that they would keep at these two days according to their writing, and according to their appointed time, every year. And that these days should be remembered and kept throughout every generation, every family, every province, and every city. And that these days of Purim should not fail from among the Yahudim, nor the memorial of them perish from their seed. Then Akter the queen, the daughter of Avihail, and Mordechai the Yahudi, wrote with Eth all authority to confirm Eth this second letter of Purim. And he sent the Sepharim unto all the Yahudim, to the hundred twenty and seven provinces of the kingdom of Echash with words of peace and truth to confirm at these days of Purim in their times appointed, according as Mordechai the Yahudi and Echter the queen had enjoined them, and as they had decreed for themselves and for their seed, the matters of the fastings and their cry. And the decree of Echter confirmed these matters of Purim, and it was written in the Sefer.